One man has it all, the other plans to take it all. An undisputed champion, a fiercely determined challenger. Josh Taylor, Jack Catterall, welcome to The Gloves Are Off. I'm going to take his head off on February 26th. And I'm coming away victorious. That's all that I'm thinking about. I was born to perform on this level. I've been wanting to fight the top boys. Josh has gone and cleared up the division, and I'm ready for him. I'm going to come up to Scotland and beat Josh in his own backyard. Boys, welcome. Josh, February the 26th, set to be a special occasion. Yeah, can't wait. You know, um, first time boxing at home since 2019, since I boxed Ivan Baranchek just about three years ago now. So, yeah, the last couple of years has obviously been a bit quiet. You know, had two fights in two years and behind, one behind completely closed doors and one behind restricted uh, closed doors. So, limited crowd. So, getting back to Glasgow, full capacity crowd and being in front of a crowd again, which is what I love, born for it, so I can't wait. Top dog, how's that feel? Feels good, you know, and, I, and I'm going to be staying here for a long time, you know, so um, no, no intentions of uh, going anywhere anytime soon, so yeah, feeling good, mate. It's a massive, massive title, there's a lot of pressure with that. I don't, I don't, I don't feel any pressure, you know, I think I'm, I was born to perform on this level, you know, even since I was a little kid. Um, I was always saying I'm going to be a world champion at things and performing in front of crowds. If anything, for me, the lockdown was harder for me because it was in empty arenas. I love performing in front of a crowd, whether it be for me or against me. I love it full stop. So, yeah, I can't wait to get back into Glasgow and uh, back to the Hydro. It's, a, it's amazing. Jack, on your toes, biggest moment in your life? Big opportunity for me. Been waiting for this for a long time. People forget that we're in this position because I stepped aside to allow Josh to go out to America and fight for all the belts. So this is the fight that I've wanted and we're here now. Are you ready for this? Yeah. I've been ready for this. How long have you wanted this? I went and watched Josh fight in 2019 at the Hydro. I've been wanting to fight the top boys. Josh has gone and cleared up the division. So I'm fighting the top boy and I'm ready for him. What do you think of that? Is he really I think so he wants, yeah, I can think obviously he's going to say that, he's going to sit here and say that, but I know he's got self-doubts, I know he's got the self-doubts. He hasn't boxed anywhere near the level that I've boxed at. You haven't boxed anywhere near the level that I've boxed at. That's true. You've not fought anybody at world level, you've not, probably not sparred anybody at world level recently. You're not sparring anybody at world level at the minute, I know that. So, yeah, I don't think you're, you're ready, you don't really believe that. Well, I You're believe win this you fight. was the one who postponed the fight. Yeah, I had injuries, me. mate. I'm not going to go into a fight with an injury, am I? Mm, injuries. You're going to go into a fight with an injury? Did going you have injuries? Injury? Did you have do injuries? You, do you want to fight an injured Josh Taylor? Did you go in with, and then, have you got do you an want injury? To, do you want to fight an injured Josh Taylor and then have an excuse me saying, well, you, you fought well, an injured no Josh Taylor? no excuses on my behalf. Well, see, in this, in this and time... that's fine. Well, this time, I'm fully fit. You're getting Sweet. the fullest... and that's what I want. ...fittest best Josh Taylor. That's what I want. So then there you go. And you've got no chance. So why are you trying to make an excuse? No, you, you said it. I'm just saying you postponed yeah, the fight. Right, I want right, this because fight. Because I was injured, you clown. All right, all right. Right, next one. Josh, this man here looking at you, talking to you now, looking in your eyes, he's, he's, he wants to take everything you've worked for. How does that make you feel? It doesn't make me feel anything. I know he's not getting anywhere near the belts. I, I don't believe... I don't believe he's got what it takes to, to win this fight. Um, I, I don't see any way how he can beat me unless he catches me with a big shot. His big left swing in hand, his best shot. But he's got nothing to lose. He's, yeah, got... he's got nothing to lose, but who cares? Doesn't worry at all? No, it doesn't worry me, because I've got things that I want to do. He's standing in the way of it, so I've got to make sure that he gets nowhere near what I want to do. And he's a threat to what I want to do, so I've got to take care of him. You bring a massive night of boxing back to Scotland. You looking forward to hearing the anthem? 
can't wait, you know, can't wait. Like I said, I'm, I love performing in front of a crowd, whether it's for me or against me. So, yeah, I can't, I can't wait, Johnny. Get back in that hydro and full crowd. Listen to Flower of Scotland and obviously God Save the Queen for him. And, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be amazing. You like that rivalry, Scotland v England? I just, I just like rivalry, um, end of. You know, I just like having a challenge. You know, um, I don't think this fight is dubbed as Scotland versus England, you know, because um, I've got a huge fan base for all over the UK, you know, so I'm not seeing this as Scotland versus England. You know, I'm seeing it as two fighters at the top of the game challenging one another. But it does make it more tasty, Scotland versus It does England. make it more tasty. It's got that the old enemy thing, but I'm not seeing it like that, you know, I've got I've got great fans all over the country, you know, I've got loads of people travelling up from England to come and support me, so, yeah, it's, it's not really Scotland versus England then, is it? Jack, you know what, I've boxed all over the world and sometimes when you're in someone's backyard, it can be hostile, very, very hostile, and I know Scotland's one of those places. <clears throat> Are you ready for that? Can you handle that? Of course, I've said it before, I've been, not on this magnitude, but I've been to the back gardens before, I've always felt like the away fighter, so this will be no different. And I'm expecting the worst, the booze, I'm expecting all of that, but that comes with the job I've got to do. Have you, you visualised it? Have you ever been in that situation? Can you, are you prepared for that? I guess not. I've never been in a position walking to the ring with, with thousands of fans booing against you, but uh, I like to think I've got thick skin and this is not just 10, 12 weeks of training camp. This is, this is my career leading to this night, so I'll be ready come February. Josh, you're at the top of your tree. When you look in this man's eyes, you know if a man's got it or not. Can, do you think he can take that heat? Will he be intimidated when he walks we'll, out there? We'll find out. We'll find out on February 26th. But I don't think when, he get, when we get out there in that ring and I'm standing across from him, he knows him, he's in with a world-class fighter. And he, he's only got one chance he's really beating me. He's coming out and trying to put it on me straight away from the start. That's the only, thing, that's the only chance he's got. What's your gut telling you? About this man in front of you. What do you mean? Can he be intimidated? By you, by the crowd, by the occasion? I don't know. It might, the occasion might get to him, I don't know. You don't know, you need to ask him. But, you know, I just know he's got nervous, nervous energy. And in, in these first couple of rounds, it's, that's his best chance to do it. Can you? Definitely. I guess we'll never know until, until it comes to February 26th, but I'll be ready to go up there and put everything into this fight. Jack, tell me about <clears throat> your, your boxing journey. It's been a long journey and I started off on the small hall shows. I think Josh won the, the Commonwealth and, and his careers went a lot faster than mine did quite soon. And I come up on the small hall shows and had to earn my stripes along the way. <clears throat> These last couple of years have been frustrating. I've been wanting to, to challenge for the world titles and, and kick on with my career. Luckily, I turned professional quite early at 19, so and I've not got many miles on the clock, but now it's time for me to, to kick on and fight the best boys in the division and, and challenge for these world titles. You're a dad now. Yeah. Is that a new fan motivation make you hungry? I was highly motivated anyway. That's more motivation than I've ever needed. Is that what's driving you? Definitely, I've got a family to provide for. For now, it's not just for me. It's for my missus, my daughter, my family, my brothers and sisters, so it's all on the line. Your trainer, an old friend of mine, Jamie Moore, tells us about your worth ethic being second to none. Is he right? Yeah, I mean, if that's what he said. I'm in the gym uh, day and day. That's where I feel comfortable in the gym. Uh, that's it. I think mentally as well, I feel better in myself and my body, physically, mentally, staying in the gym, not killing it all the time, but that's my happy place. You seem like a, a nice guy. Have you got that switch? Have you got, have you got that streak of nasty in you, what it takes to, to get rid of something like this? Of course, yeah, I've had 26 fights now. Uh, I've come through all them tests. So what I've tests? obviously got to have the switch. What tests? What tests? Well, I've been British champion. What Beat tests? undefeated fighters like yourself. What tests? What do you mean, who's what tests? Best, who's your best opponent? There's been a few good opponents. Who's your best one? Will you be the best one when I yeah, beat you? I bet you're not going to beat me. You don't get any more chance. All right. I'm going to get a chance to beat me. We'll see. Your big left hand, your big... Is that so all you think I've got, a big left hand? Yeah, I have. you've got other things, but I'm not going to give it away. But you're going to be looking for that big left hand, get impatient, bang, and you're going to walk in there shot. OK. 
Will he be the best man you've ever got in the ring with in regards to sparring, in regards to fighting? Is that what you're saying? Josh will be the best challenge uh, professionally, but not in sparring. Who is there? Uh, was sparring Canelo Alvarez, Floyd Mayweather, Khan Brook, a list of them. Did you not put him up there with him? Uh, he's, on his, he's on his way to that, but I'm going to stop that come February. How? By beating you. How are you going to beat me? Well, we're not going to go into details, are we? But I can oh, beat you. You're going to go into details. I couldn't care about the details. Tell me how you're going to beat me. I'm going to beat you. Period. By, by how you can you tell him how you're going to beat him? I know I'm going to beat him. How? I'll do everything better than him. Everything better than him. All right. We'll see. How are you going to beat you? You're going to outfight me. I don't think you're going to outfight me. I can outfight you. Can you outbox me? Of course 100%, I can outbox you. 100% you're going to outbox me. How are you going to beat me? I'm going to outbox you, outfight you. You're going to outbox me? Yeah. Oh. He's put his stuff on the pedestal yeah. up here. I just don't see how you can beat me. Well, I don't see how you can beat me, period. All right, OK. Yeah. There's one thing we do know. You've got that nasty streak. Mm -hmm. You know he's got that, that nasty streak. Yeah. You can match that. Yeah. I don't have to match his nasty streak. I just beat him by being me. Is that right? Beat him by being you. That's like, that's, that's, anybody can say that. All right. Beat me by being you. That's... What's your then? What's your what? What, well, what can well, you do? I can, you can do better you, than me. Aye, right. We'll see. You're you're all right then. If it comes to a you're boxing match, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a shot out for me. Okay, we'll see. And if you come to fight, no chance. If you come meet me in that middle of that ring, you're you're going to sleep. That's where his downfall is. He's too hot-headed. Too hot-headed. That's what you think, yeah. That's what you think. I'm more controlled and got more self-discipline you ever know. OK. Yeah. You offered him the belts at the press conference. No main games. He offered me the belts, said, sweet, I'll collect them in February. Are you going to shock people with the game plan you have? Easy night. Yeah? You Easy think? night, yeah. yeah. Listen to Jack talk. We've got a usually motivated underdog in front of you. I know he's, I know he's motivated. If I'm, is that when enough? I was in his position, I was motivated. You'd have to be, you'd have to be some kind of idiot from not to be motivated to, for, to have a shot at this kind of title. So, of course, I know he's motivated. If, you've got to be. There's no point in getting in the ring. You offered him the belts at the, the uh, press conference. Yeah. What was that about? Did you mean it? No, I've been friendly. Been friendly and uh, civil. You know, just come and hold their belts because that's the only chance he's going to get. So it wasn't mind games like you do with a fan here, have no, a touch of the belt, sign this song. No mind games. Why, why do I play mind games ten, ten, ten weeks out from my fight? So have, have a shot at the belts, get a photo time with them while you can. And that's it. What did you think, Jack? Didn't you make did nothing that? of it. I'm all right. He offered me the belt, said, sweet, I'll collect them in February. Oh. Oh. Sharp and smart answer. If he doesn't believe in himself, there's no point in turning up. But I don't know if he really believes if he can win. Jack, have you had that, that gut check before? February 26th. Have you had that gut Because it's going to be a gut check. If you mean I've been in the ring and where it's been hard, it's been difficult yeah. at times, but... I don't know, we'll see, come February. I mean, Josh is the boy that I've wanted to fight. And I've got that fight now, so we'll see, come February. How are you going to react when it gets tough in this fight? Because it will, for both fighters. How are you going to react when it does get tough? Will. I know deep down that I've ticked every box, I've done everything in my power that I can control to go out there and be fit and strong and fight and box for 12 rounds. Has he got it in him? Has he got that gut check? Do you think you'll be able to pass that check. test? I don't think he's had a gut check. Every, every, every fight, after every fight, you're saying, oh, it wasn't my best performance, you know, it was good just to get the rounds in. Oh, aye, but come on, mate. It's every fight you're saying that after your fights, oh, it wasn't my best performance, just too good to get the rounds in. That's, that's all you've got. So, again, it's going to be, a, what's it going to be after this one? What's going to be after no this excuses one? Oh, beat, by the, beat by the better man, that's what you're going to be saying. I've said it a few times, Josh has had the opportunities that I've been denied. There'll be no excuses come February at all. Well, good. You'll be fighting the best version of me. Good. And that's why I postponed the fight the last time, because you're getting the best version of me. Good then. Do you think he's got it in him to go to the places you've been? Do you think we'll he's got him. that? We'll find out. I'm certainly going to test him, that's for sure. 
and he's gonna, we'll find out if he's got it. But deep down, when you're training, when you're fighting, when you're assessing the character of the, the fighter in front of you, what do you think? Do you think he, he's got that? Do you think you'll break him? Mentally, I I break physically? Him, yeah, I can break him down in all sorts of ways, yeah. All sorts of ways I can break him down. Yeah, 100%. Josh, the injuries, the injuries you've had. Done, dusted. Done, dusted, and he's gone good as gold. Back to doing everything flat out. So yeah, good, great. Is that an advantage for you? The injuries he's had. I wouldn't say it's an advantage. Like Josh said, then there'd be no excuses on his half. So I'm fighting the best version of Josh Taylor. And that's the guy you want to fight. And that's the, the guy version. I want to fight. The Josh is the guy I wanted to fight. I was there supporting his fight against Ramirez. He'll tell you that himself. I wanted him to win so we could get this fight on. You've had some serious battles, mm -hmm. and most people from the outside looking in will think they're going to take its toll on you. Definitely not. But I've had one big battle with my big, with my big eye, which was through head clashes rather than punches. So I've not taken much damage at all in my career, to be honest. You know. The, the pro grade one was from head clashes. That's it. That's is that the fight you're talking about? Ramirez as well. They were tough fights. Ramirez wasn't a tough fight. Ramirez was an easy fight. I cruised. I, I cruised that that fight. That whole fight, I was in total control. I didn't have to step up. In fact, from round seven, round eight, I actually had to ease off. My hands were killing me. I look at you and I look at what you've achieved, and officially you're the top of the tree. You're top of the. You've done everything. What is it? And a lot of fighters, when they get there, they they become complacent. It's hard to 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 still have the same hunger, desire to carry on achieving. What have you? What is it in you that gives you that same hunger, that same desire, that same my intimidation my about you? My competitiveness, my will to win. I'm I'm fiercely competitive. You know, my my will to win is second to none. You know, even after all I've achieved, I'm still hungry and got the desire to achieve more in the sport. I want to go on and retrieve great things in the sport. You're not looking past him, are you? In my hell. No, I'd be, I'd be a fool. <laughs> I'd be a fool to look past him. He's a good fighter. He's, he's skilled, he's talented. Why would I look past Jack Carroll? I'd be, I'd be an idiot. What holes have you seen in his, in his game? There's been a few, I think I touched on it earlier. It's his temperament sometimes. I've, I see him getting dragged into fights that he probably doesn't need to get dragged into. And that, that's just one of the things we've seen. Give me something else. Give me something else. His defence, his defence ain't the greatest. Neither is yours. Yeah? Neither is yours. We'll see. How can you exploit it? Can You've it? seen it. How, how can you exploit these holes? It's going to be hard to, to get him to come have a fight in, in Glasgow, so I think there we go. I think he's going to jump in and make mistakes straight so away. That's what you're banking on, my temperament. Yeah, we'll see. Me coming to have a fight. Are you going to shock people with the game plan you have, you and Jamie have, getting into this? I think so. I think there'll be a lot of shock people, uh, certainly not from my team, but there'll be a lot of shock people around the world after this fight. There's so many big fights on the horizon. You know, I, don't, you, I know you don't want to look past him, but are you? Are you have you got no, one iron? Of course not. Of course not, because he's standing in the way of it. He's standing in the way of what I want to do in sport. So if I don't get through Jack Carroll, these fights for me that I want to do are then put way back. He's in line for it, isn't he? There's huge plans being made for him. What do you think about that? That don't matter to me, that the Josh's plans I You just... could take his place if you if you get to I'm it. not looking past February twenty sixth. No other fight matters at the moment apart from Josh Taylor. He's the enemy and that's it. What's the message to the people overlooking you? There's no message. Tune in February. I'm gonna come up to Scotland and beat Josh. In his own backyard. In his own backyard. Just to know another one of the upsets of this last year. Tell me how you beat him. Let's get stuck in. I know it. how I'm going to beat him. I'm going to outbox him for one. And if he wants to have a fight and come be aggressive and come forward, he's walking into big shots. He's walking into big shots and he's hitting the, he's hitting the canvas. Is he a better boxer or better fighter? Say if you're... you're, it's, you're, impossible, you're... it's impossible for me to answer that right now. But I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll what find what out. does he do good? If there's you were a, a fan and you weren't fighting him, what, would, what does he do good? There's a lot of things good. Give me a couple. There's a lot of things good. He knows he does a lot of things good. But not in your league? But I don't think he's as good as what I am, but I have to go and prove that in February 26th or what? I have to go and prove it. I'll do it talking with my fists and I'm going to do it on February 26th.
Jake, look at him. Tell him how you're going to beat him. I'm going to come to Scotland. Uh, I believe I can outbox Josh. I believe he wants to come and have a fight in the middle of the ring. That'll be his big downfall. You think you can outfight me? If I think, think it'll be a big mistake do. if you think you can come in, stand in the middle of that ring and have a fight. You think you can middle of fight with me? Definitely, 100%. Ring. You think you can fight me as well? 100%. Right, OK. You're dreaming now. No other way, no way how low you keep your hands. OK. And defence is... Josh, is he for real? You've listened to him today, is he for real? I don't know, I couldn't care if he's for real or not. I've seen fighters hustled and talked into changing their game plan. And what he's trying to, what it tells me, if you're thinking about boxing, you're not going to box because you're going to try and prove to him that you can stand there in the middle of the ring. I know, does I, it, I, does I whatever he said change your fight. game plan? I know I can fight. I, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. Where the way he comes out the fight, that's the, way I'll, that's the way I'll adjust and I'll find the way to win. I know how to beat him. So you beat him I in every exactly department? I yeah, I think I do, yeah. Yeah, I do. Has it gone up a notch in your mind? You've listened to what he's had to say today. Josh knows what I'm about. I'm not a big talker. This is just part of the game. Like, he knows I'm in Manchester preparing for every... the best Josh Taylor, the Josh Taylor that can box me as off, the Josh Taylor that can come have a fight. I'll be ready for everything. And like Josh said, until that first bell goes, nobody knows what's going to happen. What about the dream of holding those belts? Have you dreamt it? Have you looked that far ahead? Yeah, Have you gone down that line? Of course, yeah. I mean, it's been a long time coming. I was meant to be fighting for the one belt three years ago, two years ago, and uh, it's come tenfold for me now. I get to fight for all of them, so of course I've visualised it. Uh, that's all that's been on my mind, is coming up and having a right turn up with Josh and taking all them belts. Tell Josh what it'll feel like holding those belts. Well, for me, it's going to feel amazing. It's going to, going to be a relief. It's going to be everything and more. Is that ever going to happen on your, on your watch? It's not going to happen on my watch, no, it's a, it's a good fantasy of us, a good, a good dream to have, and that's all it's going to be. Boys, this has been respectful, uh, pretty cool, we get a handshake. We'll not do the frotch groves. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not doing that one, no. Been a pleasure. Been a pleasure, lads. Thank you. Sweet. Nice one, boys. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for a final thumbs up, guys. Clear. Oh. Yeah. What time is it? See, it's quarter to rush hour. Well, if you're going to try and box me, <laughs> then easy night. Yeah, you think? Easy night, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Easy night.